Howdy ho, interwebs and YouTubers alike. Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy XI Reboot. This time we're going to look into doing limit breaks. Got uh, my red mage up here to level 50. So he's ready to do his first level break. And when you start doing level breaks, you will develop a love-hate relationship with this NPC, Matt. And if you want his cap... You have to do uh, the level 70 limit breaks uh, on quite a few jobs in order to get that, but it's also one of the best hats in the game. I still believe that's still the case. So if you're sadistic like that and going to go after it, you will really develop a love-hate relationship with this man. But on to that, let's get this started. And it's usually collecting a bunch of different things. So I will go collect these and come back. And we'll be good to go. I was just uh, rooting up on collecting these things. These used to be, and still are, drops off of uh, monsters that you go farm. But there's also an alternative method of clicking some question marks in each of the zones that they come from. So I will get these items and I will be back. And that will complete Limit Break 1. Or Genki one is the uh, thing the Japanese will call it sometimes. Okay, and we're back. Um, you got a couple different choices of getting the items that you need. Uh, the three different items. One's in Eldamine Necropolis. The other is in Crawler's Nest, and the third is in Garage Citadel. There's a mo There are mobs in each of those uh, zones that will drop the uh, requisite items. They're tough to a level 50 character as I uh, found out. So if level 50 is your highest character at this point, uh, take your group of friends and go do it. You can do it that way. Or you can do it the way that I did. Is There's a ser series of three question marks in each of the zones. and I'll put the link in the description below. Um, once you click all three of the things, then you get the item out of there. And with the Sneaking and Viz from the uh, Fields of Valor books, and apparently another big change, which I wasn't quite realized, uh, Magic Sneaking and Viz is a lot more reliable now than it used to be in the old days. The old days, you'd be lucky sometimes the last five seconds and sometimes the last five minutes. Now it's uh, a lot more reliable. The only thing you have to worry about is uh, Magic Argo when casting it, and of course Sight Monsters and all that other happy fun stuff. So, with that being said, Let's trade our stuff into Matt and be done with Limit Break 1. So you need the Bomb Coal, X-Ray Mold, and the Ancient Papyrus. And that is all to do in your uh, Lemon Break 1. I'll catch you later for more uh, job unlocks and uh, Lemon Break 2. Until then, have fun.